supplies you'll need are some white spray paint and I got a glossy finish, orange spray paint as well as yellow. All three of these are a glossy finish. And you're going to need some clear wine bottles or you could use mason jars, whatever you prefer. Um, I just had wine bottles on hand so I thought this would be pretty cute. So first thing you're going to do is spray paint the white at the top of the bottle. And there's no rhyme or reason to this. It doesn't need to be super neat. If you look at a candy corn, the lines on it aren't super neat. So the messier, the better, in my opinion. So once your first layer of white paint has dried, you're going to go in with your orange layer. And again, the messier, the better, in my opinion, at least and just get a good thick coat on there even though later I ended up doing a second coat. And you guessed it, once the orange is dry it's time for the yellow. Now for setting them up as a decoration, it's really up to you, it's your own preference. Um, I have them on a black platter that I got from Ikea and then I just got a bag of candy corn to set in the platter to make it look all cute and candy corn-esque, but um, it is totally up to you the way you want to set this up. And there you have it, your cute homemade candy corn centerpiece. First thing we started with was the outdoors. We have this yucky old floor mat that is tired and just needs to go. And so we updated with a cute fall decor one that is from Target. Not that we don't love this wreath, but it is very summery, so we switched it out with this cute welcome sign that's acorns and leaves, and we found this at Hobby Lobby for 40% off, so I suggest you hit up the sales at Hobby Lobby before fall things go full price. So this adorable little white lantern is from Ikea, and I have this little box of I guess we'll call it foliage, fall foliage, I don't even know what you'd call it, but I put it inside this lantern. I saw something similar to Pinterest and I kind of just decided to make my own, so this is what I came up with. And I decided to make it uh, a part of my centerpiece on my coffee table. This little area in the corner of my living room now has a cute little pumpkin from Michaels, as well as the box is also from Michaels. Now this is our TV stand and you guys might recognize this from my house tour, what it looked like before. And here is it after. Both the word fall and the metallic leaves are both from Hobby Lobby. The candle and candle holder that has leaves on it are both from Bath and Body Works. Now this spot might be my favorite in the whole house. This is our entrance table and I just love how it turned out. It is so cute and welcoming when you first walk in the door and I'm just in love with all of this stuff. If you're curious where I got any of my fall decor that I didn't mention in the video, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. I will see you guys next time and have a blessed day.